at the storage unit on a very nice Tuesday. We got some sales. We just got off of uh, away mode and we're listing 20 a day. And hopefully that can boost some sales because we're that pretty slow. Wait, we're grateful for the sales that we have. $15 boots right there. Got them for a dollar at a yard sale. Uh, Chris, thank you so much. You just purchased this really nice Proto Crescent Wrench made in the US of A. So we appreciate it. Uh, an Armstrong, actually this is uh, kind of a surprise to me. I, bought, I sold this for $13 and like 50 cents plus shipping. I pass up on Armstrong stuff a lot and I should have grabbed a whole bunch because there's a whole bunch more at that yard sale that I didn't grab. I grabbed this one because it was in the best shape and I did clean it. Look how clean it is. Woo! Sold like instantaneously for $13 and 50 cents. I just don't know if somebody was looking for a 25 millimeter or the, these old Armstrong wrenches still go for decent money because I've had them in the past they haven't sold uh, and this one sold maybe it's from its armology armali these are armali hmm. I don't know but that sold very very quickly uh, these are super nice shirts when we find them in my size and color I like I actually keep these they're very nice when we go up to the mountains mm -hmm. like nice camping shirts it's a high class camping shirt right here they are the field and stream like heavy almost like felt shirts that's over I think $15 plus shipping I think they're underrated I think they're the best camping shirt out there uh, your little seashell thing sold and that's sold I think it was from Nordic wear yep it's called seashell pan so for $16.50 this is the stuff we're trying to get away from when it comes to selling stuff is mm -hmm. this this right here we don't mind selling now because we're you know it's already listed but three of these sold for $11 and we have to ship them Ugh. yeah that's together that's a lot of shipping yeah it's not like these things are separate yeah but something like this is not worth the time and shipping don't you agree? I agree. I mean, the the bubble wrap alone, I don't know if you all have noticed that bubble wrap now has gold in it. And mm -hmm. bubble wrap is super expensive and boxes are super expensive. So that right there, we're trying to get away from $10 items that are glass, heavy, and big. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like we can do that. And out of these little items, we would love to sell. I'd love to find like 100,000, 200,000 of these for like a couple bucks, you yeah. know? This is a Starret, Starret. Stare at. There's about 42,000 ways people told me how to say, say it in the uh, comments, but it's just a dial indicator. We picked it up for, I think it was like four bucks or five bucks at a yard sale. So for $59 plus shipping on that. And that one is not new and it doesn't have the little backing plates on it. There's little ones where you can change the things on the back. That one actually has none of them. And the one, the other ones go for about 80 bucks to 90 bucks. That one, it goes for $59. So that ain't too shabby. That is all of our uh, sales. We do want to put another pair of shoes here because they sold. I know y'all don't like the green ones. I'm thinking these LL Beans are going to sell next. Hiking season's coming up, right? Yeah. These are some really nice LL Bean boots. Ooh. I mean, I'm feeling like they're going to take the throne here. So they're up on deck there. And I guess there was an update on eBay, the app. The only yeah. thing, I haven't really watched anybody's YouTube channel about like the update. I don't even know what the update consists of. But I will tell you this, that I'm having a huge problem uh, doing a custom skew. It's freezing and kicking me out and making me go back in. That's happened. Today I listed 15 golf clubs. Five out of the 15 golf clubs, it would not let me custom skew them. It would kick me totally out and then I had to go back in and custom skew it. I know that doesn't sound like a big deal. Like You're like, who cares? When you're like listing, that extra four minutes that your phone freezes or the app freezes and you multiply that, that could take up hours of your time if you're a fast lister. So that kind of annoyed me, but uh, I mean, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Complain about it. I won't complain about it to y'all. And, and then go back and yeah, use it. And then go back and use it. Like You're my people that are watching this and y'all totally understand that how annoying that is to get kicked out of the app and then go back and custom skew it. So what we're going to do is uh, actually pull orders. We have a pretty good thing now because we have a ton of inventory right now is that we're pulling 10 items a day mm -hmm. per person and then we're listing 10 items a day. Then after that, we're working on mostly, uh, you're working on a secret project that we're not ready to tell people about. Secret, secret merch. It's not even merch. Just a project. Yeah, it's just... We'll let y'all know here probably in the next month or so. Probably less than a month. Yeah. She's working hard on it. And uh, I'm just working on straight content. So what we're going to do is pack this stuff up, ship it out at the storage. You know, going over some sales. We had some pretty good sales. Uh, I t t think I missed the ball on some of these. I left a lot of these behind. And another one of those Armstrong Armali, Armali just sold for... $16.20. So that's like super, super good. I'll be on the lookout for those. Snap on this French right here. This is why I love selling tools. They're just grabbing tools because a lot of times I don't know how much they're worth. I know they're worth like $10 to $20 a piece. This one, 
I was wrong how much it was worth. This one sold for $45 plus shipping. Uh, there was another one. There was none listed, all sold, but the all sold was just one, and that one sold for 30 So I was thinking, you know, I listed mine for 50 somebody offered 45 and I definitely took it. So when you see something that is none listed, all sold, up the price. You got the only one, and obviously people like it. So that's, I made an extra 15 bucks just not going with, uh, you know, how much it sold for. I upped the price a little bit because it was obviously um, valuable. There's not a lot of them out there or something. I don't know. Five bucks for this guy right here. This one's funny. We sold this, lost it, <laughs> refunded the person, then sold it again after we found it. So if you see these, these sell very well because we've sold the same one twice in what, three months? Yeah. It's the I Gotcha retractable 10 foot golf ball retriever. This sold for $18 plus shipping. Your shirt, the Natural Life short sleeve shirt. Now, when you saw this in a thrift store, you noticed that none were on eBay. Right. right, and none have ever sold on eBay. Right. But you did notice that on Poshmark or Macari, they sold very well. So that's yes. why you picked it up. And for a shirt, it actually sold very quickly. 20 bucks plus shipping, and sold within what, three or four weeks? Mm -hmm. It was that like Natural Life, which I knew the brand. Natural good. Life, mm -hmm. medium woman cropped, new Natural Life shirt. Linen, I don't know if it's linen. Check this guy out, kangaroo. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. Got boxing gloves on. Got boxing gloves on. So for $14 plus shipping for him. Then your candles sold like instantaneously. Probably think you undersold these a little bit. Probably. Yeah, 20 bucks for the gold flaked lucite acrylic tapered candle confetti 12 inch. But I looked awesome, at what the ones that were listed. Awesome listing on that though. You got every keyword <laughs> in the world other than maybe mid-century modern MCM. But other than that, you got every keyword ever and they sold quick probably because of the keywords so solid job on that 20 bucks plus shipping the blue ones seem to go for like what 40 to 60 a piece or something mm -hmm. so be on lookout for those lucite acrylic tapered candle confetti 12 inch clear gold flake candles and then a coach bag so we had it listed super high like 100 bucks and i was like dude we'll give you 40 for it and then we're like okay, okay. Because there wasn't, I mean, it's a good bag. It's a coach leather bag, but it is used. You know, it's not brand spanking new. It does have some wear up here and everything. It's like a camo bag. And, yeah, I mean, it's I nice. Mean, we could have held off, but, you But know. for 40 bucks, you know what? Sometimes, you know, we do this for a living. Sometimes you need the 40 bucks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, right here, sold that thing, $40 plus shipping. And a lot of times, in the very early morning, I don't know if anybody else does this, probably not. But if we get an offer in early morning... I usually take it no matter what it is because it's like, hey, I'm open for business. Right. eBay, I'm here to make deals. Starting so the day off with a sale. Starting the day off with a sale and hopefully eBay says, hey, they're serious. They want to make, you know, some money today. And so send, the, send them some sales. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's all I got. So what we're going to do is wrap this up, ship it out. At the storage unit, we actually have some really good sales. We've been doing 20-ish a day. We said 20, but more like 15 to 18. You're getting a whatnot. Uh, video started or whatnot not video you're getting a whatnot show started on your jewelry very soon yes. so that takes time and we i'm trying to build a website and also get our facebook back up and running some stories about that we're not going to bore you with the whole facebook thing what happened there but just know we got to get it back up and running which takes a lot of time so uh we're doing 15 to 20 a day after vacation mode i personally think it takes six days to become back to where you were before you put your stuff on vacation mode and then three weeks from now we also leave again for Peaches to Beaches for another week. But we like going on road trips. We're yes. going to do them more. Uh, Lug sold. Lug Coop Small Purse. We just learned about this brand, what, about a month and a half ago? Mm -hmm. And they sell, like, hotcakes. They'll sell, what, within about a week? Yeah. week or two, they'll sell. This one sold for $20 plus shipping. Picked up for, I think, $4.99 at the Goodwill. <laughs> Snap-on. Always. Like, look how clean that is. I actually Ooh. shine this thing up. I know. They were in super good condition anyway. The real rusty stuff, I try not to buy anymore. But something like this, it just needed to wipe down. I just wiped it down with oil, like Remington Firearm cleaning oil. And it, that's what it came out with. Very shiny. It took me like two and a half seconds. That one sold for $20 plus shipping. The golf clubs that we had from the golf club haul. I don't know if you all have seen that video yet, but it's very soon on the Beard Thrift Machine. A Callaway sold for $45 plus shipping with really nice club heads with zero damage and they still look really really good i will wrap them in paper and then wrap them in plastic so they don't get damaged like right here like these club heads right here do not have a whole bunch of uh 
you know, they're not that good. You know, they got yeah, scratches and, you know, no dents, but just a lot of scratches. So they're not as important. This one was like in pristine condition, and I want to keep it in pristine condition for the customer. That's why I wrap it like that. No, no real other reason. We got a lot of questions about why we wrap stuff in plastic. I wrap uh, electronics in plastic, so if they ever get wet in shipping, because your boxes sometimes will be left out in the rain by the USPS or something like that, a lot of times we, get, we save the electronics by wrapping them. In plastic, also, I wrap the remote with it. Because how many times have you, oh, where's the remote at? I don't know. If you don't wrap the remote with the object, that also me messes it up. And also, like, lots of things will wrap together so they're not in the bin. So if we have, like, six things that we lot it together, I'll wrap all those six things up in the plastic wrap. So when we go digging in the bin, you're not pulling out maybe five and then not shipping it out, if that makes any sense. But we got a question. Do we wrap everything in plastic? No, like this not wrapped in plastic but this is wrapped in plastic here for uh fiesta wear plates right mm -hmm. so you would think well why would you wrap that in plastic because we had multiple sets of these so now we know that this one is like set four of that set wrapped in plastic ready to roll once a custom skew comes out boop, we put it in there put it in the box i'm not saying that we don't mess up but that's one way that it helps us not to mess up affliction you actually found the affliction stuff didn't you this Affliction um, sweatshirt, it was like three or four weeks ago at the Goodwill. Affliction hoodie oh, zip yeah. up. Yeah, 3XL. I had it listed high. It was um, from Las Vegas. 80 bucks for this. I had it listed for 120. The person really wanted it. They said, listen, I only got 80 bucks. I was like, you know what? You can have it for 80 bucks because <laughs> we only spent six bucks on yeah. it. So, you know what? You can take it for 80. We had some more. These were kind of like a, I wouldn't say not name brand. But they didn't sell that well. And they're one, two, and three, but they sold in a couple days, actually. They're uh, Lazarus Golf Clubs, Steel Shafts, one, two, and three, right handed. They sold for $30, $35 plus shipping, uh, which I'm guessing is pretty good. Then we sold a pot. This thing is actually, yeah. This thing is like, that's got to be like a try, a three ply. You can always tell a three ply because they're thick and very sturdy. That's, I think that's what Salad Master is. And always remember on pots, like see this one right here, when you're at the store, there's nothing on the bottom, right? So if you flip this over and you're like, man, this thing's an unnamed brand pot, the older pots always put their stuff, I wouldn't say always, but it's another place to look, is on the side. So right there, that's the side marking. So when you're like, man, that's a really nice pot. It's weird it doesn't have a brand on it. Well, it probably does. It's on the side. Salad Master's also on the side. So it's kind of important to know that because that thing sold for $25 plus shipping. That's pretty good for a stock pot. Pretty good. That ain't bad. And then another golf club here sold. It was a three wood Callaway sold for $33.15. And that's everything we sold. But I do want to talk about one thing. They were actually sitting here. Are these green shoes? Oh, it <laughs> came out and hit me. Are these green shoes? Somebody actually messaged me and said, hey, we were looking for the green shoes to see what size they were. They're not on our eBay store. Oh my so goodness. They have been sitting here <laughs> for all that time and I have just confirmed, I think Adam actually sent the message, they are not on our eBay store. 100% not there. You can't buy them, so we're going to have to um, relist them. I don't, they're not on the what not sold, they're just gone, which also makes me think, because we haven't been through our inventory two years, how many others are there? How many other green Nikes are in here? Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, we have, we don't have a ton of listings on eBay. We have just hit 1,600 again, but I, when I look around, I feel like there's more than 1,600 things in here, right? Yeah. There might be 2,000. We might have 4,000 items in here that need to be listed. So one day soon, uh, it's getting closer and closer to yard sale season, and when it's yard sale season, we do nothing but yard sale mm -hmm. and list things and get stuff ready. So we were supposed to do it last, what did we do? We were supposed to do it, and then something got busy. Oh, we were doing uh, storage units. Yeah. Storage units. So we'll have to start going through it and really going through these bins, maybe take them a bin home a day and then come in and look through the shoes because if you wanted to buy these, we figured out the reason why they sat there for two years or a year. You can't buy them. It's impossible. <laughs> so what we're going to do is actually go put our sticker, one place, one thing that we do do, do do, is we buy stickers every place we go and we put it on one of the uh, Coleman's in there. So we're going to go do that. Also, we're going to pack this stuff up, ship it out. There's the cooler right there. Do you want to do the honors of putting it and people say they love Barry. they love seeing you on camera. Barry. They love seeing you on camera. You should be on camera more. Do you want to stick the sticker on? There you go. Buford, we've been there. 